Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Thursday on Fever 22. Now, it's the last full day of Foot Captain's Team number one, but Foot Captain's Team number two is closely um, on the horizon. It is coming very, very soon, and we have a lot of leaks about cards we expect to see, specifically some of the next up Foot Heroes captain's cards that a lot of us are very excited for with some big time skill move weak foot and just stat upgrades like we saw with the first set of the foot hero captains now right now i'm recording this very early earlier than normal because the servers are going to go down for maintenance and i'm sure a lot of you guys myself included are bummed uh because if you were wanting to finish your rivals rewards game e uh, your games EA is not giving you that opportunity because they're doing six freaking hours of, of uh, maintenance like uh, that runs all the way up until the Rivals rewards are given out. So no Elite for me this week. Uh, I'm going to have to stick with my Division 1 weekly reward. Maybe next week we will hit that Elite uh, because I'm going to run out of time to play games. And literally the servers are supposed to go down in like 15 minutes. So that might put a uh, bit of a time frame limit on this video but we're going to talk things that aren't related to the gameplay today we're going to talk about the market we're going to talk about the brand new players that are leaked to be coming out again we've seen a lot of cards leaked for the foot captain's promo that we didn't even see in team one right marcelo busquets um and all the heroes that we're looking forward to too. there's a lot of big names and a lot of great looking cards um, that have been leaked already and probably some more to come as well now right now on the market we have interesting times as prices guess what still dropping down a little bit i flipped a couple of quads yesterday i bought some gareth bales i still have the lucas hernandez and the cordobas that i had before and i'm losing now on some ruben diaz because again all center backs are just down horrendous i don't know if he's bounced back up a little bit in price it looks like he's seven hundred thousand coins which is where i bought that item at um, and we have some road to the final market movements from the games that happened yesterday mares is down walker is down basically all the cards that were expected to win and are getting upgrades later on are down now we also have fantasy foot upgrades coming today too the second set of those fantasy foot cards will be upgraded and I want to take a look at the foot captains team to see if there's a potential possibility if we can invest in these cards um, before they go out of packs on Friday for a potential rise out of packs that's what we're going to be talking about all in today's Thursday video so if you're enjoying the videos on the channel make sure to thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new let's get into the leaks what everybody is talking about with these cards that are leaked for team two or cards that are technically leaked from team one that didn't actually get released as a part of team one it's gonna it's gonna cover most of the team today we'll probably have a few more surprises being leaked and put out later today on thursday um, but to start off with we have some juicy hero captains cards getting released this weekend first one is abedi pele everybody is really hoping this card has five star skills although i don't know if they're going to do a skill move upgrade he might still be four four but that will be an incredible card people will plug and play into their league one teams again green links to all league one cards his regular hero card was really good earlier on in the year now it's just bit a bit past the power curve for sure but that's a really really nice boost for his item there that's a that's probably in my opinion the top two out of the heroes uh, that are coming out in the new Foot Captain's Hero set. Here's another one, and this one I think is top one. It is Joe Cole is coming in Foot Captain's Promo Team 2, right? And that's what we're talking about. Cards that you expect to see this Friday as a part of Team 2. It's also rumored that he's going to have five-star skill moves. So if you have like a, a Sancho foot birthday, if you have a Salah special card, I would just be very, very careful because this dude looks like he could overtake them all, especially if he has five-star skills. Um, I would love the shooting to be 90. You know, that 89 just looks just a little bit below what we would love it to be just for getting that 90 overall shooting number to be up one more rating. That'd be nice. But that looks like a cracked card. And again, Premier League links, he's going to just be you know, inserted into so many people's teams. Now, I will say, based on this card and based on a Betty Pelé, these guys are going to be expensive. If Di Natale is 2.2, 2.4 million coins, you know, these cards are probably going to be above a million coins a piece each uh, for a Betty Pelé and Joe Cole, in my opinion, to start off with. Maybe dropping down a little bit, but I think they're going to be pretty expensive because the Hero Captain's cards 
are so rare. Now, here's another one. Mr. Robbie Keane, Spurs legend, 92 pace, 93 shoot, shooting, 93 dribbling, and 81 passing. When I looked at this card earlier when the leak was put out, it really reminded me of like Dal Gleish. If you look at Dal Gleish's card, he's got a lot of pace, great shooting, great dribbling. His passing is pretty low, but a five-star weak foot upgrade on a Keane card as well would make him a top striker in the Premier League on FIFA 22. So this is going to be a card a lot of people would be very excited about as well. Now, again, like I mentioned, I think they're going to be pretty expensive. We, you know, we have Milito at 700K, Junberg is 600,000 coins, and Di Natale at 2.4 mil. Gomez is 470K as well. So when I'm looking at a lot of these cards, I'm seeing in my head price points that are probably over a million early on. Maybe maybe Robbie Keane's like 750 to 900,000 coins, somewhere in there, a little under a million later on next week. But I think week one, probably going to be staying up in that million coin price range are going to be pretty pretty expensive as these cards are hyped and if they're all getting skill move or weak foot boost that's even more hype um apart from the insane stat boost uh that they're getting as well now let's move on to the promo team of course everybody is ready for marcelo right this was leaked last week he didn't actually get dropped but these are the official stats for the card that we should see tomorrow on friday so marcelo should be in team two we were like team one okay no he wasn't in Team one mini release. Okay, he wasn't in. Now it's team two, right? It's gotta be. So hopefully we'll get some more information on Marcelo. He's definitely, in my opinion, the number one card coming out in this promo tomorrow for team two. Also leaked to be in team two is Busquets, uh, with probably the best Busquets card you'll ever see in FIFA history right there. That'll be an item that so many people will be excited about just because it is the captain of their beloved Barcelona. And some nice Barcelona links uh, recently, you know, Braithwaite and some other cards that have been released, um, especially with them still live in the Europa League playing today as well. That's going to have some hype tomorrow on the game as well. Moving through a few more cards, Payet with his insane goals lately is going to be getting himself a card. This is, I think we looked at this late, or earlier in the week and we said, hey, be careful if you own somebody like a foot birthday Fakir, because uh, I think a foot birthday Fakir would be somebody who is already down in price. But depending on the price of this uh, Payet card, might drop his item a little bit more as another French center attacking mid dropping on the game. For that card right there, that I'm sure he's going to have an insane finesse shot um, and insane free kicks and just an all around great looking center attacking mid item. Uh, on the game. A couple more to round things out. Ward Prowse. We had Mark Noble last week. Ward Prowse this week for Team 2. That's a pretty dope looking card. Nice Hullet gang with 95 passing. Probably again the same free kicks as we would expect as well from his real life free kick um, exploits. That'll be a card in Team 2. Jose Fonte is supposed to be coming during the foot campus promo. I, I think some of these cards are, I think all of these cards are team two. There might be one of them that's an SBC. I don't know. Uh, but another center back, 82 pace. Okay, it is what it is. That would be a nice strong link to Noon Menge, though, and more uh, strong links to Renato uh, Bamba if you're running a three back. So that's a pretty decent card right there. Not the most meta, but decent. This card, Trimmel, is also leaked. Bundesliga right wing back. Pretty nice looking card as well. Um, and yeah, that's most of the leaks. Now, one interesting one is. End of an era, Akin Fenua is supposed to be coming in the following days. We just had a Jermaine Defoe end of an era that a lot of people are uh, using at the moment. I can't find the card scrolling through the pop. Oh, there it is. The popular list right now. Everybody's really excited about this Jermaine Defoe. And actress, in, interestingly enough, uh, Akin Fenua, if I can type him in, Akin Fenua would be a strong link, not a, not a perfect link, but he would be a strong link to Defoe. So, of course, he's known for his strength, right? 97 strength. He's got to be given that 99, 100%. I'd be very interested to see what they do with a Defoe, Akin Fenua. That could be a great combination for a lot of fun on FIFA uh, with Jermaine Defoe and Akin Fenua linking up in your squad. So, that could be pretty dope uh, on the game coming this weekend. I don't know when the Akin Fenua is supposed to be. We'll probably have more leak information as well the closer that we get to the weekend. But as of right now, not a whole lot to talk about with that. So what there is a lot to talk about still, after we look at those leaks, again, those are all cards going to be on this weekend. Tomorrow, Foot Captains Team 2. There was a lot to talk about from yesterday on Wednesday. EA again dropped a banger day of content. I mean, I can't believe I'm even saying this. The third day in a row with some sort of like upgrade slash gamble pack SBC, they dropped a campaign bag player pick but it was different than what it had been before during fantasy foot it only included live items right i think this campaign bag player pick is basically the new party bag we had party bags in years past 
this is this is basically the new thing and they can keep the campaign bag player pick name and they can put whatever sorts of cards they want to inside of it so today they did fantasy i'm sorry they did future stars foot birthdays and team one of foot captains so the current promo cards were included in that player pick today i thought it was an okay gamble honestly uh, i know a lot of people didn't pack great stuff from it uh because uh the you know it, it's a gamble pack right and that's how all those things are when you when you do a gamble pack you hope for something great but you you're not guaranteed anything great and even if you look at the most popular list on footbin like the popular cards that are being searched up the most it's a lot of Dominson sanchez neuer uh, a lot of the lower tier cards from Future Stars, Foot Birthday, and Captains were all packed by so many people today. We actually opened some on stream yesterday, packed up Pedri. How insane is that? Literally one of the best cards you could get. Um, we also packed a Dempsey. So if you haven't done this yet, I think it's worth the gamble. 95,000 coins, craftable with the 80 plus player pick. Again, you don't expect to get anything insane, but the fact that these hero captains cards are like packable from that as well was, was pretty insane. I mean, these guys have really, really low pack weight. So somebody getting that in a player pick today was really lucky as well. Um, but you can see on the front page of Footbin here, you know, Daka, Konate, um, Vlahovic was one that I saw a lot of people get. Cunha was one that I saw a lot of people get. It's just funny to see how when Gamble Pack SBCs come out like this, a lot of the cards that are going to be packed the most from that SPC kind of rise to the top uh, on Footbin when a lot of people are searching them. So that was that Gamble SPC yesterday, and it's got fodder going up even more. If you've got this fodder, I think we are getting very, very close to the sell time, though. Even after rewards today, hopefully the servers are back up after rewards without any hiccups or anything. Um, that would be a problematic if they're, if they're not. I would be selling the stuff, honestly. You know, your 85s basically got to 10K, some of the ones with better chemistry. Your 84s have gone from like under 3,000 coins to pushing four and a half to 5,000 coins. Incredible investment there. I think this fodder stuff is a sell. I would get it out. I think now is the time to be selling the stuff. I know some of you guys sold it yesterday. I think that was great as well. This is what we were waiting for all week, right? We were waiting for one last SBC to kind of push that fodder uh, range just up a little bit more. And boom, now you're taking some of your profits and you're feeling good about it. Uh, also with the uh, 85 plus player pick being re-upped yesterday as well, that helped out fodder. And a Del Piero SBC, it's, it's not bad. 580, 600,000 coins for this SBC is not bad at all. Seriously, I think this is a good value card. His card on the market is still 650 and he was like 700K. 750k before the SBC dropped. So that is uh, three in a row days of great value SBCs from EA in terms of the icon moments players. Now, again, we're getting really close to are EA going to drop those two icon moments that were leaked? Moments uh, Zinedine Zidane and Moments Maldini are two players that have been leaked to, to get SBCs during this promo. Now, we have not seen them yet, but we also don't have any other leaks for other icons. Not saying that they could drop something else instead of these, but uh, we'll, we're going to have to see if they drop either a Maldini or a Zidane, that would be crazy for crafting with upgrades and stuff like that. Um, as we head through the rest of foot captains and into team of the season. So again, speaking market wise, really fast, since we had another gamble pack yesterday with that, um, campaign bag being out, you saw a lot of prices continue to drop fodder went up. The captains went down on the market as well. The foot captains players, a lot of them dropped even more. Um, because we had lightning rounds yesterday with the brand new team of the week featuring Kylian Mbappe being out in packs. So some of these cards have bounced back up a little bit. Yuris is 124, 125. He was down to like 115, 114, 115, I think, during those lightning rounds and during that pack supply when it came out. Now let's talk about investing in these cards. Can you invest in these foot captains from team Number one, I honestly think that since some of them are just so cheap and think about what we've seen from the beginning of this promo, we've seen insane amounts of supply. And I think that's dropped these cards down kind of a lot. I think a lot of these guys are cheap. I mean, you, a 400,000 coin Royce with these sorts of stats, that in my opinion is a really, really good card. I mean, you look at the rest of this team and there are going to be players in here that will have value and be in people's teams after this promo ends. Insigne, right? like the Italian left wing to use in the Serie A, even though this is his, probably his last um, Serie A card before he goes to the MLS. Ben Yedder, of course, is Ben Yedder. Need we say more? Uh, Tyrone Mings, I think. Tyrone Mings, Yuris, um, Dubois, 
you know, Coke, Quagliarella, I think those are going to be the cards that are the most popular for people to invest in out of packs. I think Mings for a center back is dirt cheap. I think that's way too cheap for a Prem center back with, a, with stats like this. Um, I know that we had the Chiellini SBC that has been released. Uh, you know, even heading into team of the season, I would feel decently comfortable buying this card before he goes out of packs and putting it in my team at least for a week, right? I don't know what's coming with like team of the season voting or stuff like that. Uh, we still think that the voting might not start or we might not have the actual team of the season until the 29th still. Um, but, you know, Mings, Yuris as a French keeper, Dubois as basically fodder and a French right back with really good stats. That would be a card you would expect to rise out of packs. The only thing that's a bit, I guess, uh, you know, the bad thing about investing in these cards out of packs is that you have team of the season still in the background. So if I were to invest in any of these, I would really say Mings, Yoris, Royce, Insigne, uh, maybe a Yetter. Quagliarella is basically fodder. I think he's a solid buy as a 92 rated card. If you take a look at the other 92s, he's like the next cheapest. He's cheaper than Lewandowski, uh, Oblak, Erickson, Kane, like all these 92s, which if they're dropping icon moments, SBCs like Zidane, like Maldini, that could be a pretty solid buy. At least buy one of those for like 70K or under and stock it in your club if you have a decent amount of coins. Um, so I do think there's some upside to investing in this team. I don't think that uh, I'm going to go too crazy with it. Uh, but I do think if you're trying to invest in something, this is an opportunity to invest in some foot captains cards before they go out of packs. Now let's talk buy time, right? Let's say you do want to buy some of these. Like I honestly want to buy a Yoris for my team. It links up perfectly with the Varane and the Desai that I have. Um, and I was really hoping to get this guy close to 100K. I think that might be a bit too cheap. I think that if we if I see this again at like 110, that might be kind of my go time for a card like this. But buy times and buy periods for today, we've got, of course got Rivals Rewards, which is going to supply these cards a little bit on the market. And then we have lightning rounds and marquee matchups coming today as well. And I think you're going to have a lot of people that will be looking to invest in these cards. So um, just be careful around that time frame. If you don't see card prices drop at all from where they've maybe bounced back to, like again, I said, Yuris was 115. If he does not go back down there and he stays at 120 to 130, you know, that to me would, and it seems like he's getting bought up a lot. Like tomorrow during marquee matchups and lightning rounds, if you're going to the 59th here, trying to catch a snipe and, and invest in this guy before he goes out of packs, and every single snipe that pops up is getting sniped uh, before you get to it, uh, and there's so much people buying, I would be very careful about that because one thing that we have to remember about these cards is that they're very, very supplied very supplied, right? Yes, they're hype because they're very cheap, but that's because they have so much supply on the market from that first Friday of all the saved up packs that were released. So we'll be taking a look at a few of these cards. I think, I think some of them will rise, but just be careful, right? Team of the season is still ahead. And you know, you just have to be careful because a lot of people aren't buying too many cards for their team at the moment. They're more rocking on tradable squads. So those are my thoughts on the current state of the investing in any of these cards. Now the, the foot hero captains are really interesting too. I don't think they've done compensation yet. Um, you know, Dempsey is, is 210 right now. As I look at his card, I believe he's 210 and I don't think they've done that compensation yet. I think EA will tweet it out and you'll see people on Twitter like, Hey, uh, I packed the incorrect version of a hero earlier on this week and I got compensation. So I think there's still a bit of drop in price for these cards upcoming. And with team two being really, really good guys like Milito, Di Natale, especially on the higher tier. Um, and with new heroes that are going to be coming out that people want to try, I would just be careful. I would just be very, very careful and say that, you know, I don't know how much these cards are going to rise up out of packs before team of the season. But once we get to team of the season, if they drop anymore, then they could go up because these cards are no longer in packs like Dina Talley, Dempsey, Milito Gomez are no longer in packs. At least that's what EA said after tomorrow on Friday. They're kind of like promo cards, but they're also heroes at the same time. Kind of weird. So the normal heroes will go back in packs tomorrow, we do believe. So that's kind of my thoughts on investing in these cards out of packs. I'm going to put some coins into it. But again, the real way that I like trading right now on this game and on this market is with, um, you know, I just like trading with the rare cards and I like trading with uh, just quick fluctuations. I bought Lacroix yesterday for 460 and 480, sold them all at 530 to 5, 530-ish, 537. Probably could have gotten a little more out of them, right? Definitely could have gotten a little more out of them. Actually, I'm still on the game somehow, which I'm not sure how I am at the moment, but what I'm going to do is, since the main is supposed to go for like six hours, 
it's probably not hitting yet, but I'm gonna list some of these cards up for six hours because if there are some people on the servers, I bought Gareth Bales at 340 because he was really low. I might list a few cards up right now before the servers go down, unless it's gonna be one of those server updates where you can actually still stay on the menus. Um, I, I don't know. How much is Lucas Hernandez? I still have this guy that I bought at 220 yesterday. He's like 240 to 250. So I'll maybe list a few of those up as well uh, before the servers actually go down. Today on this game, I know it's just kind of a weird thing to see on a, on a foot account videos. Like, why is Nate listing up all these cards right now? Um, it's just because I'm hoping that maybe if I list them up for six hours, maybe somebody will get on the game for the first time and there'll be some of the cheapest ones that will be up. So I don't know, uh, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it with some of these and maybe get some sales. If it doesn't work or if the servers are still kind of halfway up and people are on the market during server outage, then it is what it is. But anyways, that's besides the point. A couple other things to speak about on this game at the moment. The brand new team of the week from yesterday, we have our 94 rated Mbappe, which is around the same price or a little bit cheaper uh, than the actual player of the month. It's not an L if you did the player of the month and now you see the headliners card being here at uh, 96 rated. Not an L by any means, um, in my opinion. Not at all an L. That's kind of my thoughts on that uh, for sure. Um, also on the road to the finals, this is something that we've been seeing, like, again, as I mentioned, cards that lose or even cards that win, it's just continual panic selling. The sell time for these cards is always in the hype. Mares is 615. He's literally just gone down since city, uh, won on aggregate. He was 69700 yesterday and has been dropping down in price since, uh, same thing with Walker. He was like 490,500. Mane is down hundred K Tiago is down like 50, 60,000 coins as well. Um, as you see, these cards going down in price on the market. So always sell on the hype once again, but those cards should get upgraded on Friday or tomorrow, I believe. Um, and then today we should have fantasy foot upgrades. The second round of these. So like Martial is going to get a plus one today. Um, let's see who else off the top of my head that I, I don't know too many of these are getting upgraded. Pedro's getting his plus two today on the game. So that's going to be pretty hype. Um, I think Maxman's getting a plus one for the win. Yeah. So St. Max plus one comma Vinga's getting a plus one. Um, let's see. I, I don't even know all the top, all the upgrades off the top of my head, but any upgrade that was earned this past weekend, whether it was a goal or a win, uh, or Cali is getting his third match played upgrade already, which is crazy. Uh, so Cali is going to get another upgrade for that. Watch out for those fantasy foot upgrades. Cause last week they took place today on Thursday in the morning. I know it's a weird time. But EA has now all these weird times for upgrades. We, we can't even, we don't even comprehend what they're doing with this stuff and with these upgrades. But that's kind of the, the scenario with these cards. So again, if there's any of them that are really up high uh, before you maybe are looking at prices on, on the game, maybe selling the hype, right? That's, I mean, that's kind of the thing right now. Kamavinga, this one I'm a bit interested with because he's he was like 400K and I bought some, sold them at 440, but he's kind of maintained his price with the Real Madrid hype. And um I don't know, not entirely sure how he's going to do after the upgrade, just to be honest. His card isn't going to get an insane upgrade. It's going to get a plus one, probably going to go to like 87 pace, 88 pass, 91 dribble. Maybe they'll give him plus two physical to put him to 89, but he needs he needs another, another uh, upgrade or two, and then it looked pretty cracked. So yeah, that's kind of what you can expect today on Thursday. Now, elsewise for content, we mentioned marquee matchups. Um, I don't know if we're going to get that Tim Cahill heroes SBC today. That was something that we might see. And we also might see a fourth and final player SBC for the foot captains, but I, I think what they might just stick with these three. I don't know if they're going to do anything else. Um, and then I think maybe the 86 plus, I don't know. Cause I haven't done all of these, but the 86 plus double, I don't know if this is going to be re-upped again, um, or, or anything like that. So the, I, I did my first Icon Moments upgrade. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I did my first Icon Moments upgrade uh, on stream yesterday, and it was not a good one. I packed myself Rykard. I saw Dutch, got excited, didn't see center forward though. So that's the second time that I packed uh, Rykard this year uh, on this game, which is a bummer from an Icon pack, but it is what it is. Last thing I'll leave you with, today's the final day to craft some 80 plus player picks to save for team number two. So all those cards that we just looked at in the leaks, um, and then the new foot hero captains cards do some of these and stock them. I mean, however long you want to save them, even for team of the season, 
they might be worth saving up if you can hold them for like two or three weeks. Uh, they might be worth saving. I don't know if we're gonna get 80 plus player picks next week, but you'd probably be it'd probably be worth your chance to do some of these upgrades. And if you want to save them for that long term, or just for team two of, of foot captains coming out tomorrow, that's my uh, on almost your last call on on getting some of these done for the great value that they are. Like 6k per, such a great value. So. Uh, it's past uh, the time frame that they said the servers are going to be down. So let me like log in and see if it doesn't let me log in or something. But um, sometimes when they do these server update things, it takes them actually a little bit to do it. And uh, okay, so it looks like the servers are still kind of up right now. But servers being down, especially gameplay being down is a pain because I know a lot of you guys were trying to get in Rivals games before the servers went down and EA Sports said, nope. No Rivals games for you. So that was a bit unfortunate, but hopefully you still get some good rewards. Um, and uh, hopefully we see people go out on the game and maybe pack some captains and, and they can drop their prices down a bit so that we have a better opportunity to invest uh, heading into the later parts of this week. So Foot Captains 2 looks really, really good. I'm excited for that team that's going to be coming out. Um, and uh, yeah, boys, that's going to be it for me on the video today. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.